Hi guys, we're at the lathe and we're going to make a little piece to put over the crank so that we can drill straight into the crank and make sure that the the drill's going straight in instead of like having a cockeyed one way or the other. So we're just going to pop this in here. So the, the crank is an inch and seven sixteenths. So I got an inch and seven sixteenths seven sixteenths bit. And uh, then I got the appropriate size bit to tap for a 5 8 bolt, which is going to go into the crank. And so this this uh, bit here is a carbide tipped, so uh, so that we'll be able to get into that crank okay. And so we're going to start off, we're just going to like zip this all the way through here. And then we're going to come back with the big bit and we're going to drill maybe like halfway through. And so then this will just slide onto the crank and then we'll have a like a pilot hole kind of drilled where this will guide this from. So we're not going all over the place. It'll just go straight. So here we go. not fit in here. All right, let's see if we have another chuck lying around here. I guess uh vibrated the nut off that kept this little guy on there. It's down in there somewhere. So here's here's what we got. We're gonna slide that on the shafts and then we got a way to center it out. So think that'll work out well all right we're at the garage now let's see if this fits on the shaft oh that just squeaks on there I like that it's a nice fit oh that's super tight it's barely got a wiggle that's close oh now it's got like almost no wiggle all right so this is what we're gonna use to drill this crank out nice we're gonna take this uh take this guy off then get this on there. And then we're going to uh, drill this out to the right size and then uh, tap that hole so we can uh, bolt the clutch on. All right guys, we're here at the bench and this is what I came up with uh, to drill the crank. Um, this is just a right angle drill and this is the, uh, the same chuck and drill that we used in the lathe. I just uh, took this arbor out of this chuck. I had put it in there so we could use it in the lathe. And then I just put a, a straight arbor back in so I could put it in this chuck. And I use this drill in particular just because you can, when we're drilling in, you can get a good grip on it like this. And if there's a problem, you, get, you can get a good handle at it. As opposed to if you use a, a drill like this, if that thing, it can uh, it messes with your elbow sometimes, so I think uh, this will be a lot safer to use this drill. So I think that's about that. 
So I guess uh, we'll go out to the garage and uh, we'll give this thing a shot. Okay guys, we're out at the garage. Here's a little guide that we made. We're just gonna pop it on here. I don't, we're gonna just remove this later. So, oh, here, let's, here, we'll just put a little pre-oil in here. Get some oil going in here. Let's take a look and see where this uh, steel is coming from. Is it coming from our guide or is it coming? All right, here we go. It's looking good. So the way this is, this is, you know, you can see where the drill stops and then here's the cone of the drill right here. So it's a great place uh, for the little piece, the little pieces to collect from uh, the drill. All right, I just lifted that up a little. I just wanted to get a better angle on this thing. All right, we're making some we're making some progress there. Let's see. All right, so that's how far we got in there.
So we're in there one and three quarters, which is actually further than I need, but that'll account for any uh, crown on the end of the uh, drill bit. So this looks like it's not perfectly in the center, but obviously this is what we've got, so this is what we're going to deal with. So here we have 0.43. Here, oh, we have 0.435. And here we have 0.38. So it's not perfect, but considering we, uh, you know, didn't, yeah, considering the way we did it, I'm uh, pretty happy with the results, so. All right, guys, I think we're gonna end the video there, and then next time, um, we're going to tap the crank um, through the hole that we just drilled in it. And then we're also going to make the motor mounts out of uh, some pieces of steel that I have. So thanks for watching.